Hey folks, uh, this is the second part of factoring polynomials. So again, that essential question is not correct. So we're factoring polynomials on this. Anyways, uh, this is uh, factoring ax squared plus bx plus c when this is not 1. Which leads me into factoring by grouping, okay? So now if you know how to do that, that x kind of factoring, then you guys can, can continue doing that. I don't want to disrupt that. If you're kind of shaky on this, um, on that way, I'm gonna, here's another way to do it, but it involves factoring by grouping. Okay, so factoring by grouping, what we got to do is um, group them by the first two together and the second two together, okay? And factoring by grouping is always with four terms on here, okay? Or most of the time. So, so group the first two and the second two together, okay? And then we GCF out. What can you pull out of these two guys? I can pull an X squared out of these two guys. What can I pull out of these guys? Well, it's not nothing. We can always pull out one. So we'll pull a one out of those two guys. And so we GCF each group. Okay, so I pulled the one out of that. When there's the, you, when you can't pull out anything, then put a plus one there because we can always pull out a one. Okay, so then here we pulled an x squared out. And then notice they have the same x plus one in there. So uh, what we do is pull out that common x plus one and you're left with the stuff that tagged along with it. X squared plus this one right here. So you pull out the red x plus 1, and you're left with the rest of the stuff right there. And there it is factored. If I foiled this out, it would take me right back up to there. And the definition of factoring is to change a polynomial to an, to, so uh, by something times something with other polynomials. Okay? All right, let's do that again with this one. Group the first two and the second two together. Okay? And then GCF out. I can pull an x cubed out of both of these. Again, all I can pull out of those is 1. All right, so when we do that, we get that, and they have the common x plus 1s that we pulled out, and we're not done. Do you remember in the last lesson, the sum of cubes, sum of cubes goes by times try and then soap it? Do you remember that? So let's do that right here. So the sums of cubes, it goes a binomial times a trinomial, then we soap it right there. And so the guys that are being cubed goes in here, so I think it was x cubed plus 1, so this would be x plus 1, this one's this guy squared, this one's this guy squared, and then we multiply them to get to the middle one, okay? So by times try, soap it, same sign, opposite sign, always positive. So if that's a plus, that's the same, it's a plus. This is opposite, so it's a minus, that's a plus right there. x plus 1 goes in the middle right there, okay? And then we square, x squared goes here, we square 1, 1 goes here, okay? So there's that, and then we multiply. X times 1 is should be just X. I made a mistake. Uh, did I? Yeah, I sure did. This should be a plus 1 right here. Golly. Uh, let's get rid of that exponent feature right there, right there. And this should be just uh, uh, minus X. My bad, you guys. I made a, an error right there. Okay, so that's the correct answer right there. All right, let's factor this by grouping. So we'll group the first two and the second two. Oh, I'm, I forgot. This is a new step of factoring. You can do what I just did, and I did that in my class, and we run into a dead end. So here's a new strategy, and somebody asked me, uh, Caitlin said, well, how are we supposed to know how to do that? And I said, well, you didn't. I didn't either until I learned this. So this is just a new strategy. If factoring by grouping doesn't work, you got to try something else out. And so check this out. We'll, do, we'll still factor by grouping on this, but we replace this 3x squared with 2x squared plus 1x squared. And then we group these two guys together and we pull out an x squared. And then this trinomial, factors of 2 that add to 3 are 2 times 1. So this this trinomial factors to x plus 2, x plus 1. This binomial factors to x squared times x plus 2. Now notice they both have an x plus 2 that we can yank out of them. So um, we pulled them out and made it 1, and we're left with x squared plus, plus x plus 1. That's what this says right here. Okay, new strategy. I love it, you guys. I love it. It's like you can't get good at basketball until you practice practice. It's just like math. You can't get good at math unless you practice practice. I know you guys don't like hearing that. So um, Anyway, so it's just another strategy. And don't worry if you don't get it. I probably wouldn't put one of those on the test unless it was something like extra credit or something. I don't know. 
All right, so here's how to factor ax squared plus bx plus c, and we're going to use the example 15x squared plus 16x plus 4. Okay, so first thing you got to do is multiply this number times this number. So here it's 15 times 4. 15 times 4 is 60. All right, the second thing is we do, we, we find factors of this number right here, 60, that adds to this 16. So what, are, what are, sorry, what else when we multiply to 60, adds up to 16. Well, 10 times 4 or 10 times 6 add up to 16, 10 plus 6. So what we're going to do is uh, rewrite the polynomial. We're going to replace this 16x right here with these numbers, 10x and 6x. So we'll just rewrite it right there. There's plus 10x plus 6x, and then we factor by grouping. Okay, so here it is. So group the first two together and group the second two together. I can pull a 5x out of both of those, left a 3x plus 2. can pull a 2 out of those, left a 3x plus 2, and then they have a common factor. Again, if your x method works better, please keep doing that. Uh, this is the method I do every time. I, I kind of lose patience with that x method, the guessing and checking. My ADD kicks in. Now let's try this. So 3p squared plus 14p minus 5. So 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Other factors times uh, that gives me negative 15 that add to plus 14. Well, 15 times negative 1 would work. So if we rewrite that, 3p squared plus 15p minus 1p minus 5. Now be careful. As soon as we put parentheses around that, because of this minus, it's going to change that sign right there. Okay, so as soon as we put parentheses around here, this minus changed this minus right here to a plus. Imagine if we just redistributed this minus back through, it would take me right back up here. So as soon as you wrap it in parentheses, if that's a minus, it always changes that sign. Okay, I can pull a 3p out. We'll be left with p plus 5. Here we can pull a 1 out, and again, we're left with p plus 5. So we can pull that p plus 5 out, and you're left with a 3p minus 1. All right, let's try another one. So uh, here, when it starts off negative, we want it to start off positive. So pull, factor out a negative. You don't just throw it out. Someone said, don't we divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply by negative 1? No, you only do that if there's an equation. Then you would do it to both sides. So the negative doesn't disappear. We just factored it out. We can't multiply by negative 1 because I'd need an equal sign and then multiply this side by negative 1. But I can pull a negative out, and then we're going to do smiley face factoring with this trinomial. So 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. Factors of negative 28 that add to negative 12. You guys think of those? Negative 14 and 2. Okay, so if we rewrite that, replacing uh, this negative 12x with negative 14x plus 2x, and I put brackets here because we're going to have to insert parentheses right here, okay? So, so don't forget about the negative that we pulled out. Okay, we can pull a 2x out, and we'll be left with 2x minus 7. We can only pull a 1 out, okay? And they both now have a common 2x minus 7. Don't forget the negative. So when we pull that out, we get that as our final answer. Okay, you guys, if you're in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.